it, during that time, I remember noticing this lilac color and I was like, damn, I should have bought the lilac one. That's way cuter. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll super love it. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about purple bags today. I've been doing a bit of a rainbow on my channel recently, talking about different colors of bags and I've recently done pink and I did sapphire blue now I'm gonna do lavender purple so if you uh, love lavender purple bags let me know guys let me know if there's any I've missed or any that are on your wish list and one of my favorite brands is definitely Hermes and I feel like they're definitely lacking bags in lavender or violet shades they do have darker purples like Cassis and Anemone, but I haven't noticed many lilac-y shades from Hermes apart from in their Oran sandals. There's this color called Violet Palm, but I've never actually seen a bag in this color. And I recently saw on Hermes Bonbon bon a pair of shoes in a color called Violet Amethyst, and they look like they seem to be like a suede. So I wonder if Hermes will do like more of a lighter purple shade in the future because I haven't noticed them do like this particular shade. They have many shades of mauve, like mauve sylvester and like um, mauve pale, like this color, but not nothing like that more saturated violet. But if you want a violet color or lavender color bag, I actually feel like lavender is slightly more trending, which is more of a bluish tone, light purple. Um, there are many brands at the moment who are doing it. Versace, I've noticed them doing a lot of lavender color bags. For the last few seasons, uh, they've done lavender bags in the past as well, but one of the most iconic bags I think that they have at the moment is the La Medusa bag in this like violet purple color. It has a, a matching purple plastic chain and matching plastic Medusa, Medusa head. I don't really love this bag because of just the finishes on it. I'm not a huge fan of the plasticky feeling hardware, but I do love the color and the Medusa head is very nostalgic to me. I I remember um in, when I was in like year 7, I used to love watching um Versace runway shows and I just loved the whole vibe and Yes, I think Versace does hold, you know, a lot of memories for people growing up. Uh, there's not been a lot of Versace bags I particularly fall in love with, and I don't feel like the quality feels that great, to be honest, but I will admit the colour of this bag is gorgeous. Gucci also did a few pastel coloured bags recently, including this color uh, lilac leather uh, and I think it works really well actually with the silver hardware as well with gold hardware it's kind of a little bit more girly but the silver really brings out the blue tones in this purple and gives it definitely more of that lavender look I particularly like the Gucci Marmont like hobo style looks very um you know trendy for younger people I feel from Louis Vuitton they've also done some uh, lavender-esque bags, including the Cousin PM with the chunky gold chain. The Cousin bag has gone up a lot in price since it first released, and I haven't noticed as many people wearing it as when it first came out. I've never owned a Cousin bag myself, but I do particularly like it in this shade of purple. I know that this season, I noticed on Foxy LV, there's a new like pinky shade with this um kind of pink monogram through it which also looks really pretty but my favorite is probably this shade of purple I just think it looks very pleasing very um girly and it's a very unique shade as well like this shade of purple you don't often see all the time but I've noticed a lot more brands do it uh for the last few months or year or so more than ever so I, I, it's definitely a trending shade I don't know if it's going to be trending next year as well but I think it it actually suits a lot of people um and it's a little bit of fun as well it kind of like pops but it's it works with a lot of other pastel colors and uh even like brown tones and definitely like grays as well lavender works really well next um definitely Fendi have done a lot of beautiful lilac bags um including the, I quite like my favorite is this 1997 baguette with these like very light purple sequins yeah I just think it looks very um throwback and yeah I actually like it just with that thin strap on top uh yeah, and I think it would look amazing with like a silver dress or something or even a gold dress. I don't know, I could imagine this with like a grey outfit or something or even like a grey knit could look amazing. 
But yes, um, Fendi have definitely done a lot of purple baguettes uh, over the past few months. Celine, they have this like very blue tone purple called Light Lavender uh, in a few styles of bags. I particularly like the Triumph in shiny calfskin with the gold chain. I just think that the gold looks so beautiful against the Light Lavender colour. I also quite like the Mini 16 in Satinated Calfskin. Uh, the 16, it's a really nice low-key understated bag. I think it's a bag that you could wear for many years. It doesn't have any massive logos on it, and I've heard the Satinated Calfskin is actually quite nice. I've actually had a Satin Calfskin bag from Loewe, which wore very badly, but I've heard that the Celine leather is a little bit different, a little bit more durable. Going to Loewe, uh, this season they have this adorable puzzle bag in this beautiful shade of lilac -y purple. I love it. They've done it with the silver hardware. Um, I've been really obsessed with this bag for the last like month or so. I don't think I'm going to get it because honestly I should just stick to my shopping ban but I do think it is a, a gorgeous shade and particularly in this grained leather I think it would be a better wearing bag than some of the satin calfskin bags we're seeing from the Weve. So yeah I just love this color and I I would definitely, if you want to get it guys, I would definitely support you because I love it. Last year, Bottega Veneta um, had a colour called Wisteria and there are still a lot of bags on the website in the colour Wisteria and I just think it's a gorgeous shade of lavender purple. I particularly like it in the Mini Jody bag. I think that this colour works really well in smaller bags. In bigger bags, it's I mean, it makes more of a statement, but I think it looks a bit cuter in the smaller styles. And I think the Mini Jody works really well uh, for these like fun pop colors. And, you know, you can also get the Mini Pouch in the Wisteria color. Um, so, yeah. And from Prada, they have their Prada Crystal bag in this lilac color as well. I remember when I got my Prada Crystal bag in the black, I sold it not long after, but it, during that time, I remember noticing this lilac color and I was like, damn, I should have bought the lilac one. That's way cuter. But anyways, I ended up selling the black one anyway. But probably one of my favorites out of all the crystal bags is definitely this lilac color. I think it just looks so much more like magical and like a fairy color. It's so beautiful. Uh, what is this color called? I forgot actually, but yeah, there are a few Prada bags you can get in this color actually. And yeah, guys, uh, that's about all the random purple bags I'm obsessed with lately. But uh, let me know, guys, are you eyeing any purple bags? I do not have a lavender bag in my collection. I'm not sure if the color suits me. I have to actually try it on more. Uh, my favorite is definitely the mini puzzle, though. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to keep making videos about different colors. A lot of you have re requested for me to do yellow next or even red. So I'll work on that as well. Um, and yes, uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!